as you can see here, I've uh, I've now got uh, the uh, the first coil that I made. It uh, comes off this lip here, all the way to the top of that lip, and the second coil that I've made that comes all the way from that lip, all the way to the top of that lip. So uh, I'm assuming that they've uh, got the same length of wire, which is uh, what makes it uh, have the same resonant uh, frequency. Now uh, what I've done is I've joined two bottoms together and put the uh, signal generator through it at 274.8 and now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just find the top of one of them Trying to get a good reading on that. And we get a decent reading on that. If I can tune that in a bit better. Oh. Seems to flare up at uh, 267.4. And then uh, if I was to, to come around with the second one there. And disconnect and reconnect that one there. We're getting the same nice resonant frequency from that, so uh, I'm assuming we've got a match pair from that. So uh, now I know that uh, these two are a match pair, we're uh, able to varnish them completely to uh, just toughen them up and. Uh, make sure we don't get any flash over and we can start using some high voltage upon them the, uh, the fact that it's made out of glass uh, makes it a lot uh, easier for us to uh, put uh, much higher voltages through them but if you have a look at the frequencies again that's the, uh, the wrong frequency that ends in that corner there well, changes slightly when I put my thumb by it, but uh, ends in that corner there. And then if I now switch this across to the other one, it ends in that uh, area there again, which is fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. But, uh, it means we've got uh, two decent coils here now and apart from that we've got another two decent coils over here that uh, resonate at roughly the same frequency I think it's a uh, 276 these, these other two do but uh, I've, uh, I've tried uh, linking them together in certain ways and uh, you can reduce the resonant frequency by hooking them in uh, series with uh, one of the Nicky Brown bottles and one of these ones and you can get that down to about 190 uh, which means you can use a normal 555 timer circuit on it as opposed to using the uh, uh, well more advanced one the, uh, the I think it's the TS555 so uh, and that's a bit of a success there. I'm very pleased at that. So I'm going to get out uh, two new paintbrushes tomorrow and uh, start varnishing them then. That's great then, and uh, thanks for watching.